FosTube friends, it's time for another episode. Should I say, time for a birthday episode. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome. My name is Annie. I am Joyfield Stitcher, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And this is a video and channel about cross stitch, knitting, multi-crafting, all sorts of awesome stuff. And this is floss tube number 73. It is Friday, October the 9th, approximately four days before my 40th birthday. Yay! So this one's kind of exciting because my birthday is coming up. I've done all these new starts leading up to my birthday and I have a few more left. I'm going to share those with you today. I have a birthday sal that I'm going to see if anybody wants to participate in. I know some of you are um, already have mentioned like that you want to stitch along. I'm expanding the criteria a little bit because I did chart specific for some people are doing the same chart as I am. But it's a, it's a little more challenging to acquire. And so I just wanted to make sure that I have it available to anybody that wants to. So a couple of like businessy kind of things. First, I want to thank Lori A. so much. Um, she clicked on the buy me a coffee. I, it's buy me a fancy floss. And she bought me a few fancy flosses. So thank you so much, Lori. That meant so much. I got the notification and it made me so excited. My ultimate goal is to go um, to turn off ads. So there won't be any ads on the channel. Um, I am working through the process of doing um, adding the join button. So if you feel so inclined to join me, I will have three tiers. The first tier, um, there will be some perks at the first tier. Then the second tier, you get all those plus a little bit more. And then the third tier, tier you get everything before plus a little bit more. Um, and so I'll go a little bit more in detail because my perks are under review right now. And then I want to create some um, little badges that go next to your name. Um, but I will share that some of the perks are going to be additional videos and live chats. So, um, stitchy or nitty chats or just chat chats. So, those are going to be some options um, that will be coming soon. So, um, like I said, more on that to come. But thank you so much, Lori, for um, buying me a couple of fancy flosses. I think it was actually three, which is amazing. Um, if you're interested in buying me fancy floss, um, I don't drink coffee, so I didn't do buy me a coffee. I've seen some who do buy me a pizza or buy me a piece of pizza or something like that. Um, that link is down below. The other thing that there is a link to, um, and it's right below the um, kind of intro to the video, in the description box is a link to a Google form that has your mailing information. Um, I'm gonna start trying to pass the stash and um, I have a lot of like charts and things like that that I would love to pass on to y'all, sending them just basic uh, mail. Uh, like I said, I will send anywhere in the world. Um, starting next week, if, you're not, if your name comes up but you haven't filled out that contact information form, I'm gonna pick somebody else. This week I tried to do that, but like literally every person that wanted these three charts, their information's not in the form. So here's how this is gonna work this week, because I did go ahead and go with the people that were picked first. I wrote them down and then I tried to figure out if there was anybody that had filled it out. Um, I will send these out when these folks have filled out that form. Um, so I had three cute magazine charts. I will do a tri-fold on them um, that I um, was sending to somebody. Um, so I said on this one, stitch the C. And so this one goes to Nellie Vasquez. So Nellie, if you will please fill out the um, contact information link in the description box, which will be there tomorrow. Um, I do show notes tomorrow and that will be in there tomorrow or you're welcome to go back to my last week's video and do it there. Um, I will send this out to you. The second one is the story sampler and it says home is where your story begins. 
and I had said, um, please say home, stitch home. And Jenny D and QLD, um, also please go fill out the Google form so I can send this to you. And then the last one was actually two because it had, oh, oh no, it had this tree and reindeer chart. And then it had this Christmas tree chart. So I'd ask you to say stitch the tree. And this goes to Cindy Y. So if all three of you will please take an opportunity to go fill out that Google contact form, then I can get those sent to you. So I will have um, at least one more at the end of the video, um, but we'll do that later on. Let's, let's kind of get down to some stitchy stuff or actually maybe a tiny bit of life update. So like I said, it's my birthday this coming Tuesday. I am turning 40. I was born in the awesome year of 1980. And um, tomorrow's actually my brother's birthday. He will be 38. Um, so we're gonna have dinner as a family. We had a fantastic week of school. We have just finished our ninth. We finished an entire quarter of school in-person learning. Um, Joyful little one got her hearing aid yesterday. And so today was her first full day and she did fantastic with it. Um, today was actually parent teacher conference day. If you follow me on Instagram, which I would love if you come see what's going on over there, um, my mom surprised me by doing lunch for all the teachers at my school and decorating like all around my room and setting up beautiful tables for the food and all of that. Now it was individual servings like box lunches, um, just to be safe, safe protocols. And so that was really exciting. I had lots of early birthday wishes. I'm holding on to the last strands of my 30s. Um, I'm not worried about turning 40. I just am, I'm, you know, I just, it's not my birthday yet. But some people have been so kind in already wishing me an early birthday or an awesome birthday weekend. So, we had a little bit of fun stuff going on this week. Um, it was a little, like it was a four day week. This next week we have Monday and Tuesday off. So we have a short week next week and that's pretty awesome. So what I have to share with you today, I actually have an FFO. Um, it's a previous finish that I FFO'd over the weekend. I have some new starts. I don't think I have it. I might have a whip that I started last week. We'll see. Um, I have a little bit in the way of um, what my planned starts are up through my birthday. Starting on the 14th, I am beginning 42 by 42, which is an idea that I, um, I am borrowing from Jen Lee, Quirks and Stitches. She is doing 40 by 40. So she's trying to get her whip count down to 40 by her 40th birthday, which I believe is in February of 2022. I am going to try to get mine down to 42 by my 42nd birthday, which is October 13th of 2022. Um, so my goal is gonna be to start working on finishing some things. Does it mean I will start nothing? Absolutely not, I can't put myself to those constraints. Um, in fact, I might have one that I start before this month is over. I am obsessed with Hello from Lissa Matthews Quaker Pumpkins, and I ordered the called for fabric, which is color and cotton boardwalk. I ordered in a 20 count Ada back in August, like August 19th. And currently with their timeline, it's not going to get here by by Tuesday. Um, and so it won't get started before my birthday. So it might be, I could easily, I am not doing it saying All Hallows Eve. I saw a really cool, I don't, I need to figure out who um, did it, but I, I think I saw it on Instagram. It might have been in a Facebook group that I'm part of, but it's, they changed the wording instead of All Hallows Eve to In Everything Give Thanks. It could be a Thanksgiving start. I'm not 100% certain what exactly that's going to look like, but I have the flosses. I have the chart. It's in an awesome project bag by a stitchy tool, stitch toolbox and so it's just waiting on the fabric to come. I do have a bit of um, stitchy kindness that's in this pile that I hope does not fall. So Amy is her name and Amy has bought quite a bit of my stuff off of D-Stash. She's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> on Instagram she's sprinklesteen underscore, underscore stitches she reached out to me and she has inherited from Amy I can't remember who you said you'd inherited it from 
a neighbor, a co-worker's grandmother. I'm not exactly sure, but she's inherited quite the um, cross-stitch stash. And she found this book in the stash and asked if I would be interested in it. And I said, absolutely. Well, she actually ended up sending me one other book and a leaflet. But look at this card. It's a Hands Across the Sea samplers card. It has a beautiful note written inside, but this is a work of art in and of itself. And then on the back, I can't show you, but it actually has a piece. I'm wondering if it's a piece of this. I think it might be a piece of this sampler or so, gleaned from this sampler. But this is the Elizabeth Weston sampler. And so there's um, a beautiful little small on the back that says Forget Me Not. And so I will for sure be stitching that. I don't know when, but I think that's so neat that they're doing that. Um, and then she sent me this cute little leaflet with a teddy bear alphabet. And she said she wasn't really sure what Joyfield Little One was into stitching, but she might want to do her initial. So I didn't even have a chance to look and see what her initial is. It's a train, so maybe not that, but... We might, we might uh, do some, I might teach her the art of um, recharting. The one that she had asked me about was this one by Busilla. It's Inspirational Cross Stitch. It's a hardcover book, and it's got some beautiful pieces in it. I don't know what I will stitch, um, but I love Inspirational Cross Stitch. It actually is very unique because it has, at the beginning of each little kind of section, this section is love. It has a pretty art page and then it has a scripture. So this one is like, where you, where were you while the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy? And then it, that's from Job. Um, so anyway, if nothing else, it's a beautiful book. It's a hardcover book. It's in great condition. And so there will be something I stitched from from here. I just don't know when. And then she sent me this one, which is Home is Where the Heart Is by the Cooler Design Studio. And this is an American sampler book. It's also in great condition. This is from, what year? 1990. And so it's got, you know, this is like the sampler that was picked, pictured on the front page. So it's got a lot of really neat Cooler Design Studios. I've never stitched a Bucilla. Now I do have that Mary Inglebright Bucilla kit that I would like to do at some point. But I noticed that they have a lot of back stitching um, which I don't mind but it's an it's a different style than what I'm used to D is that bad absolutely not I'm excited and I am so grateful for her generosity and wanting to send these to me so thank you so much Amy I will treasure those and I will find something to stitch out of them so something I've forgotten already and I don't want to forget anymore is I need to give you your hug your hug of the day so we're gonna do a hug mm -hmm. and then one for you mm -hmm. And I have a new light. Um, I was watching, who was I watching? Rachel Ray, and she was, and it was an, actually an older video where she showed her craft room, her studio where she works, and she has had a ring light on a tripod stand. And I was like, okay, that's what I need. And I had bought a little selfie ring light that clips kind of on to your device. I film on my iPad and what I noticed was even though my glasses are anti-glare, it was reflecting back. But I was just, I just tested with the small little selfie clip on what it would be like if I put it overhead, if I put, you know, if I put it down below, like how could I put it that it doesn't show massive glare? So it's up there. Um, and so I have it on a tripod right here like this overhead. So we're gonna see if that will help a little bit because I've noticed that when I show projects, I don't get a lot of clarity to the stitching. So we'll see. Um, I've rambled enough about that. So let's talk FFO. So I do have an FFO today. This is a previous finish. Um, I finished this early January, 2020. Um, this is a, this is my temperature quilt that I, um, this is by at Hetty Ruckert on Instagram and she 
designed the chart and then I used a temperature scale that I found off of Pinterest. It is on an 18 count white opalescent Ada and I just framed it in this 8 by 8 frame that I purchased from Michaels and I am getting a bit of glare off of the glass because it's not it's not museum glass, so it will show glare. Um, and in fact, you'll notice Joybird is not behind me because Joybird was reflecting, actually it wasn't terrible, but it was reflecting the ring light from above and it made me look like I had a halo over my head. Maybe I should have had that because I am such a, such an angelic, angelic creature. So anyway, I'm excited to have this one finished. Um, I might be able to put it back here, like, We'll see. I haven't decided. I kind of worry about putting anything in this area because when I push my chair back against the wall to get to my bedside and everything, that's how HL Moth fell off the wall so many times and cracked the frame. And so I don't want that to happen. So anyway, I was excited to get that one FFO'd. I did a very simple finish. I um, used matte board cut to size to fit into the glass <clears throat> and I cut it a little bit more slim because I knew I was going to wrap around the edges and then I used finishing tape. Um, I personally really like the that So Emma finishing tape that's available from Fat Quarter Shop. <clears throat> and speaking of Fat Quarter Shop because these things are out and this is actually kind of a planned thing. Well one part's not planned. The problem is I have so much haul it doesn't all fit in my basket. <laughs> Everything arrived this week. Um, I wanted to try out some of the fabric flare and actually I purchased this. <coughs> my apologies. I have a tickle in my throat. I purchased this for one of my new starts but I had also purchased a few small small cuts from 1G3 Stitch. I ended up going with one of those. But this is just going to add to my stash. It might be something Joyful Little One stitches on. This is one of their Fabric Flare Adas. It's a 14 count in aqua dyed effect. And so I just kind of felt like I wanted to try out some of the Fabric Flare. So, <coughs> my apologies for the tickle in my throat today. I've been using one of these little spring loaded hoops, uh, spring tension hoops. Um, when I work on my smalls that are too small for a 6 by 6 Q snap, I only have one 6 by 6 Q snap, and I have it pretty much all the time in my Noah's Christmas Ark project bag because that's what I use to stitch all the smalls of that. And so I have one of the 5 inch, um, five inch of the 5 inch size of these, and I don't know where I got the one I already had. I've been looking for them and I can't find them on Amazon in the brand. They're like off brand. And I'm like, mm. so I, when I was getting that fabric, um, and actually I got another cut of fabric and it, the whole reason why I went to that quarter shop is to get the cut of fabric. I'll show you with one of my starts because I had seen it in their bit, one of their lives where they were showing what they had picture this plus. And it was the called for and I had been struggling with what fabric to use. I purchased all these other options, but I really just wanted the called for, but the called for has been out everywhere. Um, that's the only drawback to this, the new chart and the fabric that was called for um, and pictures plus being so far behind. I um, had purchased two cuts of 18 count Ada from them back in April and as of August, still had not received word that they had shipped. And I know that they're behind. I totally get that. But they had run a sale in July, and that kind of goes all over me. Um, like, take care of your current customer orders instead of taking more. So that's their choice in how they run their business. When I reached out at that time, they said they that I was scheduled to ship within the month. So I asked them to please refund and cancel since it was not already dyed and I will attempt ordering in the future. So anyway, back to the hoop. I ended up ordering this hoop and then I had really wanted to get these bags. I love a good gingham, not gonna lie. And these are really large bags. In fact, I think this um, turquoise one is going to hold 
my big, big old project that I started yesterday that's on an 11 by 11 Q snap and doesn't fit in the bag that it's currently in. But I saw Kimberly had it stitched on these because they're mesh. So you can stitch on them. And so I thought it might be fun to actually do these as a project. Sorry, that is super crinkly. And so I might stitch something on those. I don't know what. Maybe just my initial. I'm not sure. All right, so let's, let's show some stitching. So what did I work on this week? What did I start this week? So let's start with the big old project that's in a bag that it really doesn't fit in. This is in a Garon um, tote bags. This was their summer Quaker bag, I believe. Um, it does not close, and it's actually got a Garon grind guard. I'm gonna have to pull some stuff out. It has a massive, amazing, oh that's, oh my gosh, I love my light. It's showing my color so beautifully massive color conversion <laughs> with a ton of floss. You might know what this is. You might not. This is Heartstring Samplery Consider the Lilies. And I am so excited to start this. This is a massive undertaking, but I'm over the moon, over the moon, over the moon. So I am stitching this on a piece of 20 count Ada from Color and Cotton in aged paper. And I ordered a half yard, and it's going to be right at, right at, right at. And so I did a top left, is that right? Yeah, top left start with this corner, um, the vining. I just started this late last night, so I have not gotten very much. This is a beautiful piece of fabric, and I am doing it one strand over one square. And so I'm excited to get more into this. This actually did not take me too terribly long. The chart is beautiful. Um, I did get the book. I have done a conversion, color conversion, because I have such a massive stash that there's no reason not to. And I had some beautiful, beautiful flosses that I wanted to use. Um, so this is my color palette, which is very similar to the called for beautiful those purples there's some that's just the DMC the original I believe is charted in a combination of fancy flosses I just chose to go ahead and go with what I already had so this was kitted from stash with the exception of the fabric because I didn't have a piece of fabric big enough in my stash to be able to start this um, and that's okay so keep this in mind as we move forward and I talk when I talk about my birthday sal because that could be something you work on. All right, so today, these are in no real particular order. Today, my new start is with a super amazing, awesome, stitchy bestie. So when I received this chart, I reached out to this person and said, oh my gosh, I know how much you love bunnies have you seen this? We need to stitch it together. She was like, I totally have it. Let's do it for your birthday. So we've been planning this for quite some time. And so I am stitching this with, or selling this with Stephanie, Steph of Pam and Steph, just keep stitching. And we are calling this our hashtag besties bunny sal. And we are stitching hands to work revisited return the kindness and so it says return the kindness that you receive and it has this precious bunny I love like the penny rug it's got some like full coverage parts this bunny is completely stitched um and it's so much fun so I am um this is actually in a beautiful Diana it is kismet stitches bag because how could I not with these fanciful animals and um, it's one of her small size, which fits the little half charts. I did some color converting to really make, make it pop a little bit more. Um, and so I've got some color and cotton. Actually, they're all color and cotton with the exception of this Victorian motto, which is called Bridge in the Hollow. And I have a bit of a start. I am stitching this on Color and Cotton 18 Count Sampler Gold, Ada. And I have stitched the entire left side single border, and I'm now working across the top. And this is in Color and Cotton Caramel Brownie, 
and it is a beautiful variegated floss. So um, I just finished working across this dashed part. The letters are kind of in a multi, like tonal. There's um, like this H is part one color and part another color. And now I'm gonna work my way back um, with the top and bottom stitches of this color. So I got to a stopping point. It was about the time that I wanted to start filming my video. So I figured I would go ahead and stop. And I have a deep, deep appreciation for sampler gold. Such a good, such a good fabric. So I'm actually going to toss this far, far over there because I am going to work on this some more tonight. All right. I said this was going to be in no particular order. Um, so next up is knitting. Oh, that's something else that was kind of a finish. Um, I made two knitty bags. So I made this one. I made this drawstring style one. And this is some coffee facet or ca coffee facet or cough facet. I'm not sure how you say it. And this is some very old free spirit. I think it was tulip pink. It's little snails because I'm a snail speed stitcher. And then this is some other coordinating tulip fabric. I got my twill tape at the Joann's. And this is the style that you can like fold down the top to make it stand up. This one had a piece that I was had started and then I made a goof on it somewhere and I had to rip it out. But this is Garter Galaxy and I will restart this at some point. Um, I don't know when. And I am doing this one in a beautiful Malabrigo Rios. And this is in the colorway. Mm -hmm. Colorway what? It's got two little tiny tags. Um, Arco Iris. 866. So, anywho, um, that was one bag I made. Yoink. And then the other one, I'm going to put this back down in my knitting bucket down here. I use that big, um, beautiful Ghana basket to hold my knitting projects. This is my other one that I made. I used... Um, this fabric that was from my mom's stash that's got unicorns and deers. It's got a coordinating fabric. I found this twill tape that's blush pink with sparkle in it, metallic. And then the top is some just little light with taupe colored um, dots. This, both of these I just lined with white, just a standard white Kona. This one I did a little um, handle on the side so I did the handle and I've had a couple people after I posted these on Instagram ask if I followed a specific pattern no I when I was okay this is gonna sound crazy but I have the memory of an elephant I don't forget much um, I forget some things but not much and one thing that I remember is when I was in middle school I took a sewing class at our local like little sewing shop and one of the projects was a tote bag that had like little tie up handles that had a box bottom. And so I just kind of remembered how that was crafted. Um, and I just kind of created this. So no, there's no pattern I followed. But I feel certain as with anything on YouTube, there is some kind of tutorial out there to figure it out. Um, some kind of video. So this is holding a beautiful shawl. It was gifted to me by another stitchy knitter, knitty stitcher. Um, and this is from Helen Stewart. And this is the Fairy Hill Shawl. Is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous. And so I knew I had to start this. One, because it was gifted to me. Two, this yarn is incredible. So I'm going to show it to you in two ways. This is the Hawthorne Fingering Weight in Burling Game. And you've seen this in a previous stash. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with the light. I hope it shines true when it uploads. It has a little sparkly metallic in there. So this is what it looks like on the hank. And then I did cake it. Look how pretty. And then I'll show it to you. Knit it up. Because I have worked quite a bit on this. Now there is no stitch progress marker on here. Due in large part to that I just started this this week. It goes super fast. And it has some very cool... I'm not super great at showing the knitting. It has some amazing like lace work edge and then it's got this line of lace work. But look at how pretty that's knitting up. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like 
It's a tiny shawl. But this is going to be gorgeous. Um, it's knitting up a little tighter. I think I have too tight a tension. I also think I should have maybe sized up on my needles. Um, but I also know that with some blocking and the further I get from this, this edge, the cast on edge, the better I'm going to be in, in terms. This starts literally with like five stitches right here and just works out into this beautiful shape. So the things that are new to me in this project, because I am trying to, just like Erin, to Martini Stitcher, I have knit since I was 23. However, I took a very long hiatus. The last thing that I knit before this escapade into knitting was a baby blanket for my daughter. And she's going to be nine in January. Um, so, what was I saying? The new things to me on this project are a, a KYOK, which is a knit, yarn over knit, all into the same stitch. So you're going to complete a knit stitch, then a yarn over, then a knit, all in one stitch. So it's an increase. Um, and that's what makes those beautiful holes all along the edge, those beautiful like eyelets. All right, so I do have one other knitting to show, but I'll show you something different instead. So this was another start. I'm trying to think if I got any progress on the other project. These two live together. I did, I got some more on this. So I'll show you this first. This was a whip from last week. This is Modern Folk Embroideries um, Noel Pillow. This is on an 18 count Ada from Color and Cotton in Rosé. And I am doing a monochrome with Color and Cotton Carmine. This is a Color and Cotton kind of a week. And I did get some more done. So I finished out um, getting the, I had just done one leg of the stitches and came all the way back. This is the bottom corner. So it is not very large. And then I worked some more on, let me get it so we can see it a little better, on putting in some of the, the motifs. Um, it has this checkerboard all the way around. So you'll see I've already done some just one-legged stitches. I do that sometimes. I know you are not supposed to with a variegated floss. I do it anyway. I did it on Return the Kindness. Um, I just do. I, I break some stitchy rules and it's just okay. <clears throat> also living in this bag is another modern folk embroidery that I just had to start. I did end up swapping the fabric, so this is not the fabric. But this is um, O Tidings of Comfort and Joy. And I saw this and knew I had to have it. Knew I must stitch it immediately. So it was one that got chosen to stitch. Sorry for a little bit of crinkle. I ended up moving this to a 27 count from B Stitch Me in Dirty Chalkboard. I'm loving this on this... Um, and I am stitching it with Color and Cotton Tusk, which is a beautiful white. Um, but it has a little bit of some of the blue grays in it. And maybe even a little bit of some pink. So it's not just a true, it's like a cream with, with extras. Cream with extras. So I have a bit of a start on this. Um, I basically have... I started a top left on this one. What has happened to me? All of these, though, I've started top left because of how the pattern is. Um, and I have, this is the width of the project. So even on the 27 count over two with two strands, it's not going to be very large. And then I've started on the second row, which goes into like more um, geometric. But look at how pretty that fabric is. I love it. It's, um so dirty chalkboard I've, I have this iteration of it on several different counts. It looks different on each count, as it does. Um, but this one is very, like, slate blue-gray. It's so good. It's so good. So, I did get some time into one of those and started the other. There was quite a bit of stitching. Okay, so next up, this was a start from yesterday. And this is from Amanda May, Art of Design. And this is her Whaley Love Winter. Is that not so cute? And I wanted to start this sooner, but I was waiting on the sulky because I wanted to stitch it as Amanda May. 
did with the sulky um, flosses and so I ordered those off of one two three stitch this was the one that I was looking for a blue because I did not have a good blue in my stash and this is from the just cross stitch 2020 Christmas ornament and of course it says joy I know she designed this for me did you Amanda May no you didn't um and this is on 16 count picture this plus in stellar and I have a bit of a start on the whale but this is an awesome fabric this this stellar is fantastic I've noticed that one through three stitch one two three stitch has a lot more variety in the 16 count than they do the 18 and I don't mind a 16 so I did go ahead and order all the called for sulky so let me just show you the palette because it is so fun it is so Amanda May so you've got bright white this light minty green this turquoise this is actually the top of the whale I'm stitching right now and then you've got this light blue, a darker tur turquoise. So you've got like three shades of teal. Oh, so good. And then you've got two greens that are quite similar, actually. They're not showing up quite that similar right now. And then you've got an orange and this geranium. I think it actually is called geranium, this geranium color. And then you've got this taupey, taupey color. So, yep, um, I love the Sulky. It's awesome over to, um, it's awesome one strand on this 16 count. So, bit of a start on that. I would like to get some more in before the weekend is over and before it goes away to start focusing on some whips. All right, let me go ahead and show you my other knitting because it's in this bag. Oh, there's my other thing. All right, this lives in a Birch Grove by Christina bag that you can get off of her Etsy site. I will link it below. It's one of her small, I think it's called, she calls it her small sock bag. And this one holds my Strick Mick Martina Ben. This is her Lentilla Shawlette. And I am calling this with Erin G. Martini Stitcher. We are both using Treehouse Knits brand yarns. So we are calling it our hashtag Treehouse Lentilla Cal, K-A-L. I am using the August 2020 Mystery, um, and it's gorgeous. And I know that Erin is, I believe, using her Seattle colorway. So here's where I am. And I was here last time so I have done quite a bit I love how the ruffles are starting to come out this is um, courtesy of German short rows which is a new skill for me um, so yeah and my progress keeper is a beautiful polymer clay from a shop on Etsy called charmed and dangerous she's out of Austin Texas which is where the yarn comes from too so how stinking cool is that and I gotta remind myself to put a progress marker into Fairy Hill because I gotta let y'all know where I am. And this is on Chai, Chai Goo's um, two and a half, US two and a half. And then Fairy Hill is on US fours or fives. I think it's fours. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing to note, I love me a good spreadsheet. Sorry, my needles are being wayward and wanting to come out of the bag. And so I go through on a chart and I literally create a row for every row that I will knit. Um, so like this section right here is a short row section, then a straight section. So I, and then I mark it off as I knit it. One really cool thing, and this is why my um, stitchy friend shared Helen Stewart with me and um, I don't know that I have permission to share on here that she um, sent that pattern to me, so I'm, I'm not gonna choose not to, but she knows who she is, and I thank you so, so much, is that her charts are already in spreadsheet form. She made them for me. And all those who are also very um, type A, who like spreadsheets, I love a good spreadsheet. 
like if I can check something off highlight it oh my gosh I love that I have a good stock of those zebra mild liners because I have one now in every project so I can mark off where I've been all right so a couple more in this bag and then I got some in a bucket oh this is this is gonna be a long one I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Okay, so I have a little canvas pouch. I drew a star on it with Sharpie. Mm -hmm. I roll like that. Got these off of Amazon. They're little cosmetic pouches. And I am stitching the ink circles. I voted freebie. Because early voting in Texas starts on my birthday. And I just searched today because for some reason, one of my friends reached out to me and said, hey, you need to check because I've been registered to vote since I was 18 and my friend has as well and she went to check and just you know just to see and she was no longer registered it didn't show her register I've been registered since I was 18 I re-registered when I got married and changed my name I don't know what's happened but our deadline was October 5th so this was about two weeks before the 5th I sent a new voters registration and I've been checking the website checking the website checking the website was getting nowhere so on the 5th because if you you either have to have postmarked by the 5th or in person by the 5th I um, called my county uh, registration office and said hey I want to see if y'all received it if you show you've received it because if not I will come in person today to make sure that it's taken care of and he said okay give me some basic details and I did, and he said, okay, you're, we've done everything on our part, we have it, we, but your PSV, which is pending state verification. And I said, oh, okay, well, how long does that take? He said, well, it looks like according to this, you should be registered, properly registered to vote by October 24th. And I was like, boo hoo, I wanted to vote on my birthday, because I have a day off, it would be good, it's the first day of early voting, and I, yes, I wanna go vote. So I just randomly checked today. I'm registered to vote again so I can go on Tuesday. Yay, yay, yay. So I've got to work my honey off on this one. And I am stitching this on 28 count Monaco, white Monaco, a one over one. So it's gonna be tiny. So I've got oated. Um, it's not a very large stitch. This is a freebie on the Ink Circles website. I will link it below because Tracy is awesome. And so yeah. I need to put that over there because that means it's going to come out some more this weekend. All right, so another new start, and this is in a sleeve that I did myself. I had already cut this and interfaced it and all that for a zip project bag, but I just wanted to use this fabric. And so I just turned it into a open top pouch. So it's floppier than the foam ones, but it works. It works, it works. And in here I'm holding some of the little... Um, Prairie Schooler mini cards and the one that I decided to start with I was thinking of starting more than one I'm starting one and then I can matriculate is this one the Peace Angel and I am working through this on a mystery piece of Be Stitch Me 18 count and I am using some color and cotton I'm using typewriter my favorite black ish almond will be for the skin because it's not charted but they stitched theirs on like a white cream and mine is a much darker piece. Uh, instead of the gold metallic, I'm gonna use sweet potato. I'm making it more prim. And then for the blue, I'm gonna use Battleship. And I have back stitched the outline and started on her sash in the typewriter. So I have a little bit of a start. So it's very small. It's a very small little ornament. Um, so yeah, got that started. Yay. Oh my gosh, we are already at 44 minutes and I have not even shown all the stitching. Okay, so within in here, we have Caterpillar Cross Stitch Hello Dear. Um, this is a current stitch along. The first part came out the 28th. The second part comes out on Monday. So I am on a crunch because I would like to stay on top of this. This is an Love You More Studio Co. Uh, this is the full size sleeve. I have deviated from the kit fabric. It comes with either 16 count Ada, 
14 count Ada or 28 count white even weave, all white. I chose to go with a 32 count Lugana in splash dot powder pink, something along those lines. It's one of those that looks that they call the basalt ones that looks like bleach has been splattered on it. And I have a robin. I'm nearly done with this release. There's some more um, leaves and things, some holly sprigs, but I have a robin. And I like that they charted the hat with the light blue so that it's not quite so Christmassy. Like it, it could be just a winter hat, like a, a toque, a winter hat. I watch um, a lot of Canadian um, YouTubers and I like how they call it a toque or a toque. Um, I'm gonna say it, no, it's not a toque. That's something totally different. Just kidding, they call it a toque. So I like his little toque. Um, so yeah, so cute. So I am going to put some more time into this to hopefully be ready for the newest part on ignore that I said that YouTube. I wasn't trying to be that way. Anyway, um, so a toque is a hat. A toque is something very different. All right, so this was the fabric that I got from Fat Quarter Shop also. And this is for Hands On Designs, Ghosties, and Gourds. Um, and it's part of their new Banner Year series. I actually bought the trim from Garon Stitchery. I have the Color and Cotton Floss Pack that you can, I don't know that Color and Cotton still has it, but I know some other folks do, some other shops. It's got six colors. And the called for fabric is Kermit by Picture This Plus. I think a 32 count Belfast. Well, I have not seen Kermit in any kind of count that I liked anywhere. But then I saw, like I said, on the Fat Quarter Shops uh, Floss Tube Live that they had one of their 14 counts was Kermit. So I went ahead and just grabbed the 14 count and I have started. This is the first banner. Now, oh my gosh, it is way messing with my lighting. Um, I am recharting this as I do lots of things. And instead of boo, it's going to say joy. Three letters, joy. And then instead of the ghosts, I am charting. I'm, I'm gonna not do the ghosts, but then I'm going to, in, it, in their place, stitch little white pumpkins. Um, and so I'm read, it's ghosties and gourds, yes. But I'm changing mine to gourds and joy. Or joyful gourds. Anywho, um, I love this. I know for a fact there's another one coming out, but it's later, later, like it's for Liberty. Um, and it has Liberty in three different. I won't rechart that one, I don't think. But any of them that have the three word, three letters, I might rechart with joy. And then I can hang them behind me in some way. All right, here we go. We're keep going. All right, so then I started Ink Circles, Village Square, which I love. And this is on a piece of color and cotton that I got off of Stash Unload, and I have been jonesing to stitch it, stitch something on it. It is um, 18 count spice, and I am stitching this with a, it's Needle Necessities, which is now Threadworks. Um, and it, the Needle Necessities number is 135. And so it's this turquoise into like blues with some greens. And so I did a top left start on this one and I have a bit of a start. So um, I'm loving this. This does not do this fabric justice at all. This is a gorgeous, oh there, that's better. So this is a gorgeous piece of fabric. It is a square piece, so it won't get all the way down in here, but that's okay. I chose this orientation. And then the floss is so fun, and I love that it's like each of the little repeats is like a little street. So you've got like, <clears throat> this side of the street is the little houses, and then this side is like little trees. Um, and so it's so cute. Tracy is so, so clever. Um, and so I have had a number of ink circle starts and that's okay. Um, and then this is in a book sleeve from a seller on Etsy called the Ant Farm, A-U-N-T, like Aunt Uncle. 
um, and she had some clearance ones. I heard about her through Carla being crafty. Um, and so I ordered this one. I just thought it was really cute. It's a really pretty blue. I don't know that that one was on sale. I can't remember. All right. So then in this little pouch, this is from Bent Needle Makes. She was trying to get rid of some of her little pouch style bags. This holds another new start. This is from Fuzzy Fox Designs on Etsy. Fuzzy Fox Designs. She's out of Australia. Rachel is her name. And this is a Nativity Biscornu pattern. And so this is going to be my first Biscornu that I finish. And I had two of the absolute most perfect fabrics because it is stitched in a green and a blue fabric. So the green is a Lakeside Linens 32 count in green tea. And I have started by basically putting in the green border of the Biscornu. That is all I have done so far. But that was a lot of stitching. I am doing this pretty much in the called for DMC. The blue for the top is going to be in 32 count Lakeside Linens, Lakeside Blue. And I had purchased these off of Stash Unload. They actually were in my D stash pile. And then I saw this pattern and I knew that I wanted to stitch it. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So thankfully I didn't D stash them because they're perfect. Because if not, <laughs> Like one option is you stitch all the green, like a solid, solid square of green. Nope, I'm going for green fabric before I stitch all that green. I don't like green that much. Joyfield Little One asked me the other day what my least favorite color was and she goes, mommy, what's your least favorite color is green? She goes, wow, you didn't take any time to think about that. It's just not my favorite color. Garon mini bag. I think, Yes, I showed this last week as a new start, but I did put a little bit more time into it. This is another Fuzzy Fox. This is Geometric Rainbow, which is so fun. She has some of the cutest charts. I have a ton of hers in my stash. I did not get much. I don't know why I'm even showing this. Because I've lost my marbles. Um, I got a little bit more done on the... That's the back. That was hideous. Don't look at that. I got a little bit more done on the green bow of the rainbow. So I did stitch a tiny bit more, so I guess that's why I had it in here. I did not think the amount of haul was going to show up. Mm. All right, next up, another pouch from the Ant Farm. This one was on sale. I don't know if it still is. This is Ink Circles arranging the sewing kit. I mean, I'm doing the toolkit. Why not do the sewing kit for myself? Um, this is on aged paper, actually, 18 count aged paper. I had bought this as an, no, this was not an option. Caraway was gonna be my option from Consider the Lilies, but it came in too dark and green for my liking. And so I had this and I looked at it and went, oh, I need that. So that's what prompted me to order the 20 count for Consider the Lilies. Um, I did deviate a little bit because I did not have the called for, but I had things that were close in my um, fancy flounces. And I have a bit of a start. Not much, but a bit. And so I have the beginnings. I started in the top corner with this thimble. And these are going to be buttons that are colored in. You've got a seam ripper and a safety pin. So I just think this is so fun. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun to stitch. Um, so I'm gonna do this one kind of like the coloring book too where I do all of the outlining and then I come back with the colors and fill in. I'm taking that cue from Erin who did the arranging vegetables that way. All right, Love You More Studio Co. This is their monkey business pouch. And this holds a, a small from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, they are doing like a um, thing in their Facebook group. They had a vote to see which holiday charts were picked to kind of stitch along on. And this was one of the three. And I think this is so cute. This is Cozy Gingerbread Snow Globe. It has a pink tree. It's so cute. Um, and I have the perfect fabric that I've been dying to use. This is a Garibaldi's Needlework fabric that Jen Upton sent me. Um, way back before I'd even tried even weave, she sent this to me. It's actually a Monaco. They call it an even weave, but when I did a little more investigative research, it's a Monaco. And this is in the color Sweet Raisins. And I have the house all out, all done. 
So now I get to add in some fun details. But this is a beautiful fabric. Um, and I'm only using about half of the eighth that she sent me. So I'll have to find something else. But yeah, that was a fun little small start. All right, I think I have two more. Yeah, two more. All right, this lives in a bag that I sewed with this cute gnome fabric that I got at Joann's. I sewed this up a while ago and it had a project in it in my kitted area, but I decided I wasn't even gonna stitch it and I de-stashed it and it's gonna be perfect for this project. Well, kind of, but. This is Luminous Fiber Arts. This is Berry Buzz. And I am stitching this on 18 count Ariel from Picture This Plus. This is my start so far. And I am stitching it pretty much in the called for losses. And actually, let me share. So, so far I've stitched it in Sally Sunshine and Weeks Dye Works. Um, Garon, Gary of Garon Stitchery, uh, mentioned that they had acquired the new Weeks Dye Works two strand cottons that come on a spool, a 45 yard spool. And I had been wanting to try them since I heard about them, which was literally like one day. And I realized that navy was called for in this chart. So obviously this is more navy than I'm going to need. Um, and these are a bit more expensive. However, um, you're getting more. In a typical um, week's dye works like this, right, you're getting five yards times, um, five yards times, you're going to get three quantities of two strands. So you're only getting like 15 yards out of this, and this is 45. So it's about triple the price, but it's it's relatively speaking the same. That math may make absolutely no sense, but it made sense before it came out of my mouth. So anyway, I really like this. I really do. It's like the Sulky. Very easy to work with. So I would, it doesn't come in the full range though, um, but it did come in navy. So I got to try some out. That's upside down. So yeah, this is going to be a cute little small. Um, I like this chart a lot. It's very well charted. Misty has some great other designs that I'm sure that I will, now that I like that one, come come around to. Another small Garon tote bag. And this one holds Brenda Gervais, Brenda Gervais Autumn in Amana. And I had shown this last week as a start that needed new fabric. Because I had started at one over one on 25 Count Mushroom Lugana and I just was not enjoying it. And so I restarted it on, trying to figure out which way I started. I think I started like this. I restarted it on this piece of, this is a Bee Stitch Me, I think it's Coffee Club maybe. And so I got a bit of the house accomplished. And this is in Color and Cotton Fall Spice. I am using a conversion that Deanna of Darling Whimsy Design, Darling and Whimsy Designs shared with me. And um, I just liked her colors. And so I was happy that she was willing to share with me. All right, so we gotta get moving here, folks. Um, this is part of Stash, but it's also plans. I did go ahead and acquire myself a new planner for January. Um, so let me really quickly show you. I had switched over not too long ago in like July to this May Designs um, academic planner and um, they had them on sale. So I bought it thinking, hmm, do I, am I going to like it? I love it. Like I love that when I open it up, I've used these front pages to make my whip list, to make my finish list. Then I have a section for my whip go board. This was another page that had something on it. And then each, let's see, let me find one that's blank and not all crazy scribble scrabbly. At the beginning of every quarter, it has a spot where you can put, well, here it has goal celebrations notes, but I'm putting my birthdays, my project's birthdays. Um, and then at the back, I have some pages. This is my whips by the si by size, by my sizing. And then I have some trackers that show me when my projects were last worked on. So this was September and October. And so there's some notes pa pages. So I'm basically taping things in. And um, 
I realized though, and it, then it's got a weekly spread that I can write what I want to write. And then on my monthly calendars, I have, you know, starts or finishes and I highlight, I like my highlighters. And then these months when I've been doing a bunch of starts with like lists and things, I actually kind of taped in a secondary calendar. It works and I love it. And so I realized I'm not gonna wanna go for 2021, July. Like I don't wanna get another one partway through next year. So I went ahead and reordered the exact same style, but starting in January. So this is their large size and it is their, there's only really one calendar option. And um, I just got a different style. I got this cute little turquoisey dots, whatever you call it. And then I got Joy on the front. So this will be my remainder of 2020. And then this is my 2021. And that came today, so I thought I'd share with you. I'm just gonna start chucking things on the floor. All right, let me show you what's coming up to be started, started soon. Okay, so tomorrow I am starting Hello from Liz, Liz Matthews Autumn Tree, um, which I adore, cannot wait. I am going to be uh, stitching this on Color and Cotton 18 Count River Rock, which is a really pretty light gray. And I'm going to be stitching it in some fantastic Belle Soir in Harvest. Is that not so pretty? Oh. Oh, and I just signed up. I don't know how many spots are left, but I just signed up because uh, Crazy Annie's is going to be doing a Belle Soir Club. Three Belle Soir. She posted a sneak of all the colors you're going to get. You get three each month. And it's, I mean, granted it's silk, but there is a, a little bit of a price break. And yeah. <laughs> this is in a pouch I did myself. This is a Tula pink fabric with cute woodland critters, which I thought was perfect for that piece. All right, and then, what else? I'm gonna be starting the 12 days, um, the new one that I showed last week from the magazine, the old magazine. I am also going to, this was a freebie from Hands On Design. This is their Meant To Be. I don't really have a great picture of it. Meant To Be, it's like a little pin cushion. And I am going to actually be stitching this on some fabric flare in Berkshire Hive. I just thought that was cute. I don't know. It may be too busy. We'll see. I've got another bee-themed project in here that I might get to. It's another small, but that's not for certain. And then I'm going to be starting with Lindy Stitches. This is Beautiful Things. So my darling, it's true. Beautiful Things have dents and scratches too. I am going to be stitching this on the July 2020 fabric of the month, 18 count. This is in pear wood, which is very similar to the earthen that is called for. And um, it's charted in DMC, which I have, and um, some classic color works that I acquired from Lindy, her, Lindy Stitches, Stephanie herself. And one big reason why is this timber that's used for the fence is you can't duplicate that. Um, it's like a green brown combo, um, river rocks. Like you just can't duplicate some of these. So I went ahead and got the floss pack from her Etsy shop and it had the cute little ribbon. Awesome. Um, when we get to stash here in a moment, I will share with you there's one more that's gonna get started. My birthday start is Heartstring Samplery Time, What a Time to Be Alive. This is an exclusive for Acorns and Threads. Um, it says, What a Time to Be Alive, and it does have some charting down at the bottom. I'm going to be stitching this on a 28 Count Lugana from Dying for Cross Stitch. It does not have a name, but it's this beautiful piece. And I am stitching it with and I thought this was a color and cotton, Erin. I was wrong. It's a Victorian Motto, so I have plenty of it. This is Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Silver Linings. I needed silver linings because, yes. Now, I'm kind of thinking I need to go look at what color and cotton silver linings is. Because I might want to use that instead, since I ordered that extra. Um. So anyway, those are my planned things, except for what's in stash that I'm going to show you in just a moment. Um, but first, I'm going to take a pause 
and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So I thought I'd show you some stash. I will do my Joyfield stashy stash in just a moment, but I have some things that aren't in the Joyfield stashy stash. So we're just going to call this really good, cool other things that came this week that don't fit in the stashy stash bucket. Hashtag. So the first came with a drawing. Stephanie is incredible. Not only did I get this shipped super, super fast with this adorable drawing on the back and a personalized note to me, she sent me a video of her packing up my order, telling me how excited she was and showing it to me. Like that is, yes, mm -hmm. customer for absolute life, for absolute life. And then when she's designing things like this, of course, I'm going to get it. So, I missed out on the, the boobies, the barefooted boobies bag and gear. And so, I when I saw this pop up, and I saw this because Deanna Darling Whimsy Designs posted that she had seen this and posted it, or purchased it. I hadn't even gotten the newsletter yet. I ran over and bought it, like, in three hot seconds. No joke. No joke. So, it comes in this bag from the 805 Stitcher. Um, Yes. Those birds, they got crowns. They're awesome. Um, and so this holds some awesomeness, but I'm going to show you the rest of the bag. It got candy in it. It's coffee candy. I won't eat it, but I'm going to give them to my mom. So pretty. It does have a bit of a crease, but what I think I'm going to do is run my iron over that. Because the vinyl can have a crease, but I can take care of that by just basically pressing out the interfacing. So I'll go inside. Um, it comes, it came with, look at the new postcard stitch. It has a stitch. It's called Before the Ball. And so it's like Cinderella's mouse because he's holding a spool of thread. Yes. Uh-huh. Comes with one of her little, um, stitchy information cards. It comes with the trim from Lady.Creates. This is licorice, Rick Rack. It comes with the week Style Works flosses, and it comes with the chart, and I cannot wait. And I don't know which one I'm going to start first. This is getting started, but I don't know which one I'm going to start first. So I'm going to ask y'all to vote on which one I should start first. So this is called Autumn Royalty. So introducing the Lord of Gourds, the Count of Candy, and the Prince of Pies. Look at that owl. He's like, who? Who? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. So, which one do you think I should stitch first? So, candy, gourds, pies. Tell me if you think I should stitch candy, gourds, or pies first. I'm going to stitch all three, but I don't know which one. And it has clockwork orange in it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was so exciting to get. I'm like, and then the, the video. That made my century. Not just my day, not just my year, but my century, for sure. All right, so then this also made my day, my week, my month, my century, my year, my everything. This is the Black Needle Society Retreat in a Box Fall into Stitching. Erin Two Martini Stitcher just posted an unboxing of this, so please go watch that video. I'm going to show you very quickly, very briefly. It has an amazing card detailing all the goodies. It came with like three packs of tea. Look at this cute little like copper charm with the hand stamped pumpkin. Came with a needle minder in a little cutesy bag that says sweater weather. Sweater weather. Love it. Um, Joyful Little One might have tried to rip these off my hand. It came with fingerless gloves. Yes. 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 Like, that's so cool. It came with some floss. And it comes in this little doodad. So it came with um, some beautiful Forbidden Fiber Co. floss. This is in the colorway Scarecrow. And then it came with kind of some coordinating DMC. So that was super awesome to have some floss. So this box um, was up for order in May. 
and I'm so excited I got it. I have since purchased, I, I had at the same time that this one was up, I also purchased um, their advent box. I got the 12 days of gifting. I was not quick enough to get the 25 days. I will know better in the future. And then I have already signed up for their bi-monthly subscription. It's every other month. Because after seeing this, yes, because, yes, Katie and Laura, no. It's got this adorable pouch that says, and all at once, summer collapsed into fall, Oscar Wilde. And she's stitching. Weeks Dye Works Linen in this pumpkin colored gam. I can't wait. It's a pillow cover that says fall into stitching. Yes. Oh my gosh, I was dying with each thing. And Joyfield Little One was watching me going. Because she was like, what do I get? None of it. <laughs> I love you, but none of it. Anywho, um, some heartstring samplery stickers. I have been coveting these and wanting some, but I have some. I have some. And then, if that was not enough, we got a beautiful chart from Rosewood Manor. This is Acorns All Around. This was their first in a, like, sampler series that they did. So cute. I don't know when I'll stitch this, but I will stitch it because, you know, acorn squirrels, all the things. And then there's a freebie from Karen also. So I can't, I'm not going to show you because it's just the chart, but it's a Hello Autumn one. And it's got some really cool stitches. So, dude, I would suggest if, I don't know... But if the monthly box is still, subscription is still available, go, go try it out. I mean, you can go month to month, which is what I'm doing. Each month will have a theme, but it's going to be very similar to this. I also am doing the Jane Austen box. I think that one might be sold out. Um, Black Needle Society on Instagram. Follow, I will link below. All right, so now let's do the Joy-Filled Stashy Stash Bucket Time. It's Joy-Filled Stashy Stash Time. It's Joy-Filled Stashy Stash Time. So I'm going to go through this not super involved. I, a while back from Crazy Annie Stitching, claimed a set of Classic Colorworks flosses for the Fall Sunflower chart from Priscilla and Chelsea, Stitching with the Housewives. I don't even know if I'm going to stitch it, but you can always use their colors on other charts. They like to use similar colors throughout their different charts. All right, so then I placed an order with Charmed and Dangerous. Noelle is her name. She is a polymer clay artist. How cute is her card? You can find her on Etsy. I will link it below. And after she had shipped it, she said, oh my gosh, I'm going to be resending your order. And I said, why? And she goes, I sent out an entire box of needle minders, or no, not needle minders, progress keepers with no tails. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would have never even noticed. Well, she felt badly. So she sent me, she remade them and sent me one with a tail. So I have, she had this adorable fox donut. So this is the one with no tail. I'm giving it away today. So if you would like, you, it does not have to be a progress keeper. It has a lobster claw. So it could be a bag charm. It could be just a charm charm. It could be a progress keeper. But if you would like to receive this in the mail as happy mail, please make sure you filled out my Google form below and say Fox, F-O-X, Fox. It will be the one without the tail. But why would I not pass that along to one of you? And then I think this is adorable. It's a ghosty unicorn. Look how cute that is. Ghosty unicorn. And then she said, thank you so much for understanding. She sent me a needle minder. She has a different shop. I did not know this, but I have already gone. Called Nevermore Notions. Also on Etsy. Linked below. And she sent me one of her needle minders. Polymer clay. Is that not adorable? Yeah, that's going on meant to be. For sure. It's a honeycomb with like a 3DB. And then on the back it has, um, on the magnet so you don't lose the magnet, has a little wooden love. So let me show you the fox with the tail that I'm keeping. Thank you, Noelle. She said, I had no idea you were, you were you. <laughs> and so 
so she um she said she loved my videos and I thought that's so cool and I love repping repping Texas folk so here is my second fox the one I'm keeping with his little bushy tail so if you would love to have the fox with no tail the foxy donut um please put fox in the in the um in your comment I will say um, probably since I'm doing that, I won't do a chart this week. I'll just do that one. All right, so then I placed this flash sale order with Needlework, Needlework, Needleworkers Delights. It's Silk Weavers. It's on Facebook. I'll link it below. Um, and it got lost or it, I don't know. Anyway, so they pulled together my order for me. I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, they basically post these albums and it's flash sale. So some items there's just one of, some there's just a few. You say me please, they invoice you, blah, 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 blah. So I had never seen this My Big Toe Designs. So it's um, America the Beautiful. And I love it. So I grabbed that. And then this was back when I was searching for greens for Ghosties and Gourds. I got this um, 28 Count Lugana in Meadow Green. I guarantee you this is coming to D stash. Um, I had seen this Modena, which is this Weigert fabric in light taupe. This is coming to D stash. Um, because I it's just not my jam. It's not bad. I mean, it's it's good. It's like a 36 count kind of even weave. Um, it's quite a loose weave. Um, and so this will be coming to D stash. And then I got this 14 count Ada. I don't know why I got this. I'm not sure that I actually claimed this. But fact of the matter is it's a purple. I think it was probably a really good price. And Joyfield Little One will stitch on it. Or it'll come to D Stash. This was what I was super excited. I've never seen this before. This is called Newport Linen 28 count. And it has the grid on it. But then they hand dyed it. And it's turquoise. That's so cool. So I don't know what this is going to be for, but it's going to be something really cool. Something really cool. I don't know what, but something really cool. So, yep, that finally arrived. Um, I got these from a seller on Stash Unload. She had this little house needleworks that I've not seen. This is one of the ones that you basically kind of got the chart for free if you got the floss kind of a thing. And it's This Is My Joy. And it came with Belle Soie. It said it came with floss. I didn't know it came with silk. But it came with this beautiful Belle Soie in the colorway Red Fox. So I will stitch it in that. Because why not? It's gorgeous. And this is my joy. Mm -hmm. And I kind of tucked this one on because she had two of the two of these. Ooh, Steph! Dude, she had stitching, she had the U's, E-W-E's. So this is the happy trail to you. I needed this because can you see that this has, I can't even with the detailing on this. Okay, so at first it has a sheep in bandana print with handlebar mustache and boots. On top of him is a dachshund, a weenie dog, that apparently is the sheriff because he has the badge on. And a saddle. I don't know. And then riding on him in a 10 gallon hat with a bandana and a handlebar mustache is a squirrel! Shut up with the squirrel riding the dog riding the sheep. Yes. I'm from Texas. How could I not get this and stitch it? And bonus, it comes with everything. And then so I saw that one. I was like, okay, well, when you purchase one, you gotta like go and see what else they have. And she had the stitching sheep. And that squirrel is knitting. Knitting. And he is wearing scissors and a tape measure around his neck. Yeah, and has a tomato pin cushion on top. Like, dude, that is genius. But that squirrel knitting sold me. If nothing else, I will stitch the squirrel knitting. And it comes with all the gear, too. I can't. All right, then I had, so when I was searching for the um, blue fabrics, I have some more blue fabrics. So I got some, this is J, 16 count J, 16 count Storm, 16 count Coastal, 
and 16 count crystal whirlpool some of these might be coming to d stash and then i got some of their 20 count this is just like zweigert no this is yarn tree i think this is blue cashmere ada it's not a hand dyed and then i got some of the gray and white petite point dots in 20 count i don't know what's staying in stash and what's going to come to de-stash. I thought I was done de-stashing. I'm not. I realized I have some clay needle minders that need to come. When I purchased the Sulky, I wanted to try one of the variegated ones, and this was really pretty. This is color 4042. I can't remember what it was called, but it's a really pretty, like, all reds kind of a look, like red work. And then I got some hand, heart and hand charts um, I got today. I am thankful this one, I think, was on my wish list on sale. The Christmas bird. I have a bunch of these birds I want to stitch. And then I got all the whirly gigs because why not? Because, dude, so cute. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. It's a squirrel with long legs. Winter, spring, summer. Uh -huh. I'm kind of on a hand, heart and hand kick and a bent creep kick. Friend Stitch did it to me, man. All right, then my gal Shirley on stash unload posted this bag it's like a it's like a box bottom bag with a zipper these are perfect for big knitting projects which i have two i want to start and it's two la foxes uh-huh yeah steph i got it i got a fox bag this is my steph bag because it's foxes and i know how much you love foxes love ya all right then i got an order from cobweb corner i was looking for what was i looking for i was looking for this chart and then i fell down a rabbit hole because um, in our house we don't have a chimney and so we have a magic Santa key. Um, it's pink. And so Silver Creek Samplers has this chart. It is called the magic, key, Santa's magic key. And it says we live in a house that has no chimney so Santa, Santa will come with his magic key. Um, and it comes with two charts. I'm going to do this one and the key will be pink because our key is pink. And it's a big like wrought iron key and we hang it from our mailbox. Um, but while I was there, I got this one. I've never seen this. This is Johnny Appleseed. The Lord has been good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord's been good to me. Amen. Um, sh short story. My daughter's second grade teacher last year, she sang this, they sang this song every day to right before lunch. Um... And so I'm going to make this for her into a small wall hanging to hang in the classroom because she means that much to us. An interesting backstory on that I found out today because I was sharing this with my, my friend that I was going to stitch this for her. She said that that actually originated from her, one of her te uh, team teachers, like a teacher that was also on her team, that very suddenly lost her husband and like the very next day came into work and was singing this song um that realizing that yes the lord has been good to me he gives me everything the sun the rain the apple seed he gives me everything um so she has been doing that and so that even meant more that like so anyway long story um, I had this chart. I don't know what happened to it and I didn't de-stash it. So it's lost, but it was like four bucks. And so, um, it is well with my soul. I think that's really pretty. Um, I had seen this one and I love it. It says, if you hitch your wagon to a star, be sure it's the star of Bethlehem. I love that. And then I love the little ornament too. And then this one, um, this is called shadow of your wings. And it says, guard me from all evil things under the shadow of your wings. And I love that bird with the crown. I mean, that's a lot of stitching. Not going to lie. That's a lot of stitching. Um, so, yeah, I think the only one that I'm for sure going to get to, maybe before the end of the month, because I'd like to get this to her. I'd like to give this to her for her birthday, but her birthday is before Christmas in December. Or it might be the end of the year. But this one. I need to. But I'm going to do a little um, altering on the coloring of the letters. Um, so, yeah. Leslie Hurley, Fat Cat. Fat Cat Flossing on Instagram posted these small bags with these little fabric panels, and I had to have it. I don't do Halloween stitching, but I do do cute pumpkins. And so look at this cute little pumpkin guy with his pumpkin bucket for candy. And so it's a little small bag. The back is just cute green fabric. 
and the inside is also the cute green fabric. I don't know if she has any more of these little small panel bags, but I had to have it. Thank you, Leslie. Got here super fast and safe. I got my nest egg. This is September's. So I get Gentle Arts. I now get the 10, 10 yard skeins because it's a better deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As far as I know, they're closed for right now until supplier chain issues improve. So this was September's. I'm sure others have shown them. And so these are my Gentle Arts. And then I get coloring, uh, not coloring cotton. Nope, nope, nope. I get them from Color and Cotton. I get classic color works. There's five yard skeins. And I got some good ones this month. Got crab cakes. Um, the ones that I was like, yes, I use that a lot. Um, Dublin Bay is another one. Colonial Rolls, Rose, Four Leaf Clover. Uh, this is Erin Two Martini's Stitcher color, and we had a joke about this because it's Erin Go Emerald, and like that's her color. That is her jam right there. Is that green? So Erin has Erin Go Emerald. I said, why do you get Erin Go Emerald and I get Granny Annie? <laughs> so we had a giggle about that. She gets Erin Go Emerald and I get Granny Annie, like, and I'm picturing like a granny, like Granny Clampett from the Beverly Hillbillies. All right, I had briefly mentioned that I this is what led to the little zippies that I got on one two three stitch, but these were kits that I got off of eBay, and this is the turkey flatbed. Look at that turkey! It's got giving me terrible glare, but it's a turkey pulling a little flatbed on a flatbed with a pumpkin, and it comes with buttons and all the gear. This is actually like pearl cotton, so this can be interesting to stitch because I've never done that before. And then I had to get the chicken flat bag. And it has a polka dotted egg. So anyway, these come in these cute little zippy pouches too. So these will be good to have after I finish for smalls. Reuse, reuse, recycle. All right, so then I got my color and cotton fabric of the month. This is September 2020. I'm going to need all of this. Pronto. This is Prairie Dust. And this is a 20 count Ada. And it is so good. So, so good. So anyway, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I did manage to sneak my way in to the Crazy Annie color and cotton fabric. And the month club, she has the wait list open. Um, it is a set, you know which colors you're gonna get throughout the year, you just don't know which month you're going to get them. So there's a neutrals in the color. I would, if you're interested in being on the wait list, go now. I have no idea how long that list is. But apparently, when I checked just to make sure that mine had gone through, she told me I was the first one. <laughs> Do I get a prize for that? No. Um, I got my September 2020 mystery yarn from Treehouse Knits. OMG, it is so good. Look at this. <sighs> okay, I'm going to reach out and say, Jesse, Jesse, what do I need to knit this? What what should what should I do? What shawl? Tell me a shawl. I know you have all the shawls. You have all the best shawls. What shawl do I do with this? Jessie Marie, help me please. Which shawl do I do? Because this is gonna be shawl. This is not socks. This is a shawl. I haven't even tackled socks. I have some really cool neon yarn and Joyful Little One really desperately wants me to make her some socks. And I said, honey, socks are hard. Because there's so much like precision that goes into socks. So I almost need like a do a tube sock kind of a thing with no like heel gusset and stuff. Because for her, she wants socks like she can wear around in, for like five minutes and take off. But I have some like neon yarn that I need to do like self-striping neon that I need to do for her for socks. So I need to go find like a tube sock pattern that doesn't have heel stuff. Does that exist? I don't know. Okay, so then my Garon bag of the month came... It is too good. I'm not a Halloween stitcher. I don't really love all things Halloween, but this witch is flying in a helicopter, and the helicopter is a pumpkin. Yeah. I don't know if I will keep this bag. I don't know. I have not decided that yet. But it came with an exclusive chart that will be released next year. 
from Hands on Designs, and it's If Pumpkins Could Fly. And it says, If Pumpkins Could Fly Up in the Sky, I'd Ride With You and Shout Out Boo! And it's got a little boo ornament. I don't know. I am not a Halloween stitcher. So this is tricky. Because I think it's cool, but it's just not my jam. So I don't know. Maybe if I get to 3K, I'll do this as a giveaway. I'll have to get the okay from, from the two gentlemen. All right, then I placed an order with Caterpillar Cross Stitch because uh, they have canvas project bags now with like heavy duty zipper. So I got this cute little canvas project bag and to go in it, they have some cute little small kits. I don't know if they still have these, but if they do go get one, I got Peace Dove. And so it came with some Ada, some Dove Gray Ada. It came with the DMC flosses on one of their fun floss cards. And it actually came with the chart. And I am going to show this way back here. So it's a really cute dove. Um, so I thought this was cute. Even if I don't stitch it, it might be something joy for a little one. And I had to have this needle minder. And I'm going to try to get this out. How long is this video going to be? Oh, guys. The bubble wrap was attacking me. I had to have this because I've been telling myself this you are enough and it's a badge I feel like I need to wear this every day you are enough um yeah so yes that came too and it came super fast from the UK Sally you must have like warp drive on your mail so anyway I got all that gear um so plans like I said, I've got some things I showed you I'm going to start. Tonight, I'm going to work some more on Return the Kindness. I'm going to try to get some more done on Consider the Lilies this weekend. Get a little more tackled on that. Um, I need to get my little voted one done. I actually bought magnetic <laughs> badge things off of Amazon, but I think it's going to be too big. So we'll see. Um, I love how Stephanie finished hers. So I might go and see because she did like a ribbon, kind of like the suffragette um, ones. So we'll see about that. And I would like to also pull back out my moving forward wrap and my hitchhiker because I have not worked on those in a while. So it is time for our angel kindness card. So each week I share one of Teresa Kogut's angel kindness card. And I love this one. I think she is insanely gorgeous. Her curls piled on top of her head. And it says, For the Spirit of God has made me. The breath of the Almighty keeps me alive. Job 33, 4. And on the back it says, You are comprised of over 30 trillion cells that are entirely different from anyone else. The qualities that make you different are also what make you great. Um, and I just, that like gives me chills because that's the truth. Like that's straight, straight up truth. Um, when I'm feeling inferior to others, I have to, I need to remind myself that like each and every cell in my body was placed exactly perfect in God's eyes. And I know not all of you um, are godly or worship in that way. So that's my perspective. That's my opinion. Um, so in, in, on the precipice of my completing a de another decade um, and entering what I hope to be my best decade, where I spend more time loving myself, less time comparing myself to others, less time worrying what others think and just being the best version of myself, diving more deeply into studying and perfecting myself the better off I'm going to be and that's why I hope this is my best decade um I actually it's very interesting we got our um proofs back from our yearbook pictures our school pictures for this year and I have one that I think I like for the first time like ever 
I didn't I didn't know any different when I was a little kid but when I was in middle school and high school I it's like a driver's license photo let's be honest and I never liked them so I'm very pleased with the one this year I don't think I'm gonna do a retake and I placed it side by side with last year's picture and the change is incredible I actually had somebody reach out to me um, that had won a giveaway back in May and I don't remember May that well I didn't remember what the giveaway was for it was actually the all joys for thine and it was being shipped overseas and it has not arrived um, and so I went back to watch the video to see what it was and I can see the change in myself I can see not not just the physical outwardly change but I see that I'm in a much better place right now and I pray that for each of you I pray that whatever might be weighing heavily on your heart know that it is for a time a lot of what's going on in our world is for a short time um, I try to find joy in each day, find something to be uplifting, something to be positive about, even on the worst days. Because one of those positive thoughts for me can turn around an anxious moment, can turn around just about anything. And, I, you know, pretty simple to me is that wake up call of when Joyful Little One found out she was going to get a hearing aid you know of course I have the thoughts going through my mind oh my gosh are people gonna look at her differently are her friends gonna make fun of her because she's kind of at that weird like age where kids start to notice differences among themselves she has a fantastic group of people in her in her grade level and we're at a you know a school that is very proud of building up kids um, but as a mom you don't want your child to be different different in any way what is different what is what is anyway out of nowhere she says hmm you know what having a hearing aid is one more thing that makes me special in God's eyes he gave me this as a trial as something that's hard and a challenge but he did it because I know he knows I can do it I was like thank you out of the mouth of babes and so, if you're faced with a challenge, know that it's just for a time and believe me, I've been there. I was just there. And like I've said before, I might be on the uphill slope, but I'm not on the hill yet. So there's no, there's no guarantees that you can't slide right back down into that valley at any given moment. Um, so keeping eyes up helps. At least helps me. So you're each special to me. Your comments mean so much. I find my time divided in so many different ways that I, I do not do a very good job of responding back as, as much as I should. Um, and there's no excuse for that. So I will just say that know that if you have a heart next to your comment from me, it really does mean I love your comment. I have read it at least once and it means something to me. I may not have the time to write you back, but I appreciate every second that it took you to write to me. So with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful week ahead. Um, I might come to y'all on Tuesday with a bit of a live just for fun, like a stitchy chatty kind of a thing, because it's my birthday and I can do what I want to do on my birthday. Um, no guarantees, no, no time specifics, but just if you are subscribed to me and you don't have that bell clicked, um, but if you click that bell, it'll tell you when I'm live. Then you can turn it off. Um, but watch also for more details on the join feature. Because my goal is to have some kind of vlog style videos to show you a little more glimpse into my stitchy life, into my life life. Joyfield Stitcher will not make appearances on those videos. Um, that is con continues to be my personal choice to not use her name or not show her in videos. 
she can choose that when she is of age to make responsible decisions about internet usage. That is not my place as her mom. That does not mean I think that those who do that are bad. No, don't misunderstand. That's my choice. Um, but I will show you some of my daily life. Um, and then one of the bonuses to being at my tier three is two times a month, stitchy chats of some kind knitting stitchy chats like this kind of a thing um but i'll be stitching you can be stitching or knitting or whatever we're gonna see how that works i don't have all the fancy equipment like some of the others that have like things streaming and all of that i don't have all of that so we're gonna see how it goes and then also for that top tier i'm going to do quarterly celebrations i can't call them but quarterly celebrations just for those folks. And so I have some good ideas planned for that. So with that, I will bid you so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I will see you soon. And happy birthday to me.